G'day, welcome to Mount Cranber Apiculture. It's um, Sunday, 7th of January 2024. Um, just at Calamba, looking through these hives. Um, main purpose of the visit today is to do a bit of alcohol washing and just get a general idea of what's going on. It's my last day of freedom before I have to go back to work, so just um, making the most of the good weather and, and a nice, quiet Sunday afternoon. So. This hive's doing really well. This is one of the first nukes that came here. So um, it's up into a double now and drawing frames nicely. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, the only ones I'm watching today are these better, better hives. So there's a lovely frame of um, open brood on plastic foundation. Really healthy, lovely pearly white larvae. You can see that. Lovely pearly white larvae and um, yeah, really healthy, really a nice, nice queen, yeah. going well. A bit of pollen in there, yeah. plenty of resources. Yeah. Weather. These are sitting nicely on the frame. Doing everything right. Doing well in their high by care boxes. Um, really grateful for the support from high by care for helping me out with some more gear. And there's our queen here. I'm just going to catch her. My hair clip queen catcher, so just let her get that around her, let her walk up the side so you don't damage her. And then she is in there. So I've got her put aside, I'll get this alcohol wash out of the way. That'll get it soaked and it's a good shake. Do that a little bit later. So, yeah, that's um, a nice frame of seal brew there. Can't ask for much better than that. Why this hive's doing so well? It's got a good queen, good condition. A nice frame of seal brew there. And then on the renewal frame here, it's going on. So by the weight of it, it's mostly honey. There you go. Beautiful. So these um, won't look any further. These bees are heading up into the next people. We'll have a look at that now. There's only eight frames in this box, so they just need to be spaced properly. Touch them off before we get the last season. <laughs> last climbing so don't cluck any bees. And we'll let that queen go. There go. Take a look at these honey frames here, they're being drawn out. There's our, our wax plastic foundation, they're pulling them out nicely. I'll find the honey there. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of brood up here as well. I might be able to pull a few more nukes out of these before. Yeah. 
the um, eggs and larvae in those cells. Really nice. Beautiful. There's an egg in every cell. So that's good if I can get these up into sort of double double broods. Um, I'll pull a few more. Yeah, that's full of brood as well. Every cell there has got eggs and larvae in it. Nice to see. But they're going to do really well. Um, yeah, we'll certainly try and pull a few more newts out of these hives before the end of the season. That looks great. Right. working my way through these hives here today. Um, these are the, the um, these are the second round of nukes that were made up so um, these are going really nicely. Uh, Terry Brown cleans in them. Um, one of the really useful tools I find is these little hair clip clean catches. Um, I can pick it clean out and just sit her aside and know she's safe. Um, be careful when you um, have them out in the sun like this, they can die really quickly in the heat. So if um, your phone rings or something you've got to walk away, just pop it down, mm -hmm. down into the frame like that so the bees can look after and keep it cool. Little tip, we're going to take a shake of bees out of here and do an alcohol wash. Get that laid up nicely. Nice fresh frame of some um, brood on black plastic foundation. Really cool, you can see the, the eggs and larvae. Really noticeable there. And there's a nice frame of seal brood. Beautiful. back in. Yeah. This just had a super added recently. That look at how they're going. Quick look in the top here. Yeah, they're drawing that nicely. Beautiful. Hoping to get all these bees into in the doubles for the before we get our winter, if you call it a winter. They're, they're pulling that plastic foundation really nicely. We caught in the lid. We've done an alcohol wash. Um, seven verse twenty-four. A W. We're just down in another one of these strong nine framers. Um, 
just had a super put on it with um, plastic foundation, so they're sort of starting to muffin up the top. And do a bit of bit of frame manipulation here and get them moving along. If they do an alcohol wash, you can find this queen. Beautiful golden bees. Here they are. Nice bees. Um, Terry Brown Queen, once again. And, um, used some nice, good Ben Felix, who's helped me out a few times the last five months. Nice, quiet bees, are just sitting on the frame. <laughs> Beautiful, fresh, um, fresh, healthy brood there. Don't forget if you want to help me out, um, I've got Varroa alcohol wash bottles for sale. Just go to my website, I'll leave a link in the, in the notes. Nice frame of brood there, nice solid brood pattern. Little patch of drone, drone cells in the middle there. Really nice. Certainly looking for space. This is why they've got their second super on. The more cones we can make and the more brood we can produce before the end of the season, the better off we'll be bee going into the next year. Nice um nice frame of wet brood there. Clean. Mm -hmm. So I'll alcohol wash anything, any of these doubles that mm -hmm. I can find to clean, I'll just mm -hmm. do them. Um, and if I get the opportunity, I really um, want to stay vigilant with Varroa. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have it and not know it. Mm -hmm. Another hurdle we'll have to jump through. There's our queen here. She's running around there. Grab my hair clip queen catcher. Put that around her there. I just like to let her walk up the side of the, the cage and got her there. So we'll do, an, do a wash on these bees. More than enough bees there. That's a good shake. We'll come back to that. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, so that's a really nice, yeah. nice hive. And you see an effect they're going up into that. Into that second box nicely mm. and drawn, drawn those plastic cones. So yeah, they look really good. Oh, these get going so well. I'll throw that in the middle. Draw that out fairly well. Let's get the queen back in. There she goes. Leave it back on. Have a quick look here and see how they're going. They're just starting to poke up into those plastic frames. They can put a little bit of nectar in, so yeah, they're drawing them really nicely.
Good. No mites.